Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am the Motorcycle Rescuer and this is Motorcycle Rescuer. So oh, here we go, here's the final product. I missed one last piece of the puzzle and I'm so stupid for missing it. Front brake light switch wasn't on. Now, lucky enough, I've got a scrap bike over here which is Gary's because it's it been insurance claimed. So, took, took the switch from there. Don't tell him, anyone. And um, yeah, put it on here. Now later, I'm looking at the, the bike. I want to get it through its MOT, but later, I am going to have a play with the exhaust, try and clean it up a little bit and probably make a mount for there. Don't get me wrong, it is secure, it's rock solid with this hanger here because that's a solid hanger, but it doesn't hurt. So I'm going to drill through there, drill through there, well, drill through there even, and put a little bracket there just for double security for my peace of mind. And then, like others have said, get some scotch bright out and I'll, I'll probably give the pipe a bit of a clean. But for now, this is the bike I'm taking to MOT and it appears to do everything I'm asking it to do and we know the tyres are brand new, just check they're still pumped um, we know all the brakes work now etc etc so fingers crossed I really want this one to pass um, yeah I really want this one to pass I don't want to scrape it through I want it to pass because um, it's almost something to prove maybe just that I don't know, just that I took a bike from real bare bones and made it look pretty cool and uh, ride pretty cool, hopefully. So, bikes in for MOT. Um, I, I'm always nervous with MOTs, always nervous. See, Maitland Racing, they're great. On a Saturday, though, they like to do the MOTs more than the servicing, so even though they will nip something up or tuck something up, uh, for me, I don't know, I just, I think it's a very normal reaction to MOTs, being, being nervous. Um, and I think if you, as somebody who's building bikes or rescuing bikes or whatever you want to call it, if you lose that nervousness about your MOT, then I wonder if you're doing your job properly. Um, I think very normal. Uh, the bike rode great, really great really really well uh the tiny bit of fakeness that was in the handlebars when you saw um sultan wobbling last week wasn't actually him to be fair the um risers needed tightening which i did before this journey and um it now feels like a different bike so but saying that i want i want to get some loctite on them when i get back and uh, get them nipped up like really properly firmly maybe even double them up um, and I want to do the same with the little nut on the um, new Speedo uh, vibrated loose on the way here. So, this bike path, it has a basic MOT. And the reason I'm saying it has a basic MOT is because, yes, it's safe. It's road legal, it's safe. But there's a couple of bits that I want to um, re-look at. Uh, the speedo, I need to bolt down properly. I've taken this old bolt out because it was it was rattly. So a good old bolt, that's easy. The speedo's not recording mileage, so it's going back to zero every time. So one of the spare wires must be a memory wire. It probably needs plugging in to a power source that's constant, maybe. I'll check that out because I want it to read the new mileage from now on. Uh, and what else? Kind of what else what else what else it's kind of it really i want to double check all of their head stuff don't get me wrong it's fine but i just want to make sure i've got all the right spacings i'm going to get online i'm going to see what should be under there i'm going to order it yes welcome back um the battery on my harley is dead it's died i think the alarm killed it i just don't use it enough um mm -hmm. and i can't provide a trickle 
charger because I have no power in my garage. So what I've got is I've had this Oxford solar panel for a while. Um, I'm just setting up a system, so I'm going to put the, uh, that's the connectors, where's the main wires, the hit that you go there, and I'm going to leave it on the um, solar panel every now and again, but the other thing, the extra, this system will do, is I'll be able to hook up a real charger to it, so I can take it down to my house every now and again and run a wire outside, and just kind of trickle it up, because I just don't use it enough to keep it fully charged and it's interesting because I've done a couple of fair trips on it I drove to Nat not that long ago and and you know bits and pieces but ultimately the alarm drains more than the uh, bike can handle uh, now I'm gonna have a little look at the uh, battery see what we've got see what C see what CCM it is and uh, CCM crank and um, kind of if it's a good battery or not but ultimately I do need a system where I can put the uh, a trickle charger or something similar in place. So I'm going to have a little look in here. I'm going to set up that line so I can connect onto it, and then I'm going to get the um, optimizer on it, and we'll see kind of what's going on. I'll check the battery's voltage now. I'll check it again in a few hours, and we'll see out of curiosity if it's uh, doing anything. So here's the solar charge setup. Um, now it actually had a line in there, which is great tucked away um, current voltage is 11 point let's have a look 11.8 or 11.9 or something let's have a look oh come on 11.8 um, so we'll know now. I'm going to put this as best as I can in the sun. 11.84 is what we're looking to beat. And uh, a couple of hours later, you never know, you may use the sun to charge the bike. Um, potentially. Soon find out. And action! <laughs> yeah, just cleaning the pipes. Um, I was talking, I'm a natural, I've been doing this for years. Um, but uh, yeah, just cleaning the pipes with uh, the old um, spray. Um, Again. Water and uh, liquid, isn't it? Yep, and 1500 grit, wet and dry. Uh, wet and dry. Uh, yeah. To be fair, they're coming up nice, but you can tell they're custom. Um, I don't think that's stainless, mate. I think that's still not stainless. So ultimately, they're not going to clean up very nice. I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong, look, they're going to be, you know, metal, but they're not nice pipes because they were custom made. You can see the, the joints, you can see the solder, you can see it there, look. So, uh, uh, they're not going to clean up particularly well, actually. Um, I'm still tempted to wrap them, maybe even black, mate. Just all the way from the joint there, look, black, 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 black. Why not green? I can't find any. Can't find, like, light neon... Can't find green, green exhaust wrap. Because, uh, look, guys, we can clean that all day long, it's but, look, it is not going to, that's not... Although, saying that, we ain't, we ain't tried any mothers on it. I'll tell you what, do, do this area here a little yeah, bit longer and, and then I'll chuck some mothers on it and we'll just see. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, I've still got my um, gate, um, gator guards at home. What uh, gator guards? You know when I done the ER6? Gator? What yeah, gator? Thingy, you know the... Um, I'm sure I've got a set in there somewhere as well. rubber ones. What, for this though? It's not for... as in all bikes, you know the... Um, no, no, I mean, are you thinking gators should go on this? I mean, you are going to take the, the, the yoke up again for the uh, bolts, if you want to, but they look Do you know clean. what? They would, they would beef it up a bit. Yeah, I've got two at home. What, black? Black, yeah. All right, let, we'll consider it. Yeah. But yeah, did you tell them? Um, I told a bird about the channel, and now she's uh, stalking the page. <laughs> You've told a bird about the channel, and her. now she's not stalking the page. <laughs> she is stalking the page. She's she was, watching. No, she was like, oh, I saw you, um, you know the test ride video I was on that? She said I was cute and everything, and I was just like, hey, hey. But, but if she's watching now... She's going to hear you say that she's a stalker. Yeah, so I even told her to her face. I was like, hey, stop stalking the channel and everything like that. She was like, oh, maybe, maybe oh, not. Yeah, well, you know, you know what you're doing. Yeah, guys, I'll get some mothers on that. I'll see what they kind of look like, but I don't think it's the right type of metal to, um, it's not stainless, so it's not going to polish up um, nice. So, guys, um, got lots going on. 
I uh, remembered that my generator puts out charge as well, so I'm charging through there. The battery's currently at 12.5, so that's good. I think 12.8 or 9 I'll stop. I got Gary over here changing uh, brake levers and uh, adding some mirrors. He's got these new brake levers. Now, um, they're good quality. 50 quid, Gary? Yep. Good quality brake levers, rather than the cheap ones. The cheap ones are okay for 125. Sold tents down here. We're trying to uh, find this. Trying to sort out the new brake levers. Yeah. Uh, and what am I doing? And I'm messing with my awning because uh, basically it didn't slide very well on here, so I've greased it all up, loosened it all up so it slides well, so that it, it can't you know come off. So I think that's all good now. Actually, I'm going to chuck that back up now in a moment. So yeah, it's going well. And there's not there's nothing I can do on this. I've I've added the indicators to the um, up to the uh, oh, clock now. So look, right, see there, right, left there, left. So now, I mean, it was just a little bit frustrating that it wasn't doing that the other day. And the other thing it wasn't doing is it wasn't holding the miles I've done. So look, when I turn it on now, um. It wasn't holding the mileage. So that count, by the way, is it finding the GPS signal. So soon, that will go to zero. But then it's not holding the mileage that's done. Although saying that it might be, if it if it goes to three or four afterwards, then it has held the mileage. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to look at the um, instructions again and see kind of what's going on. Uh, normally, they need some sort of constant live. But look, this one goes to the switch exactly as I've done it, so... So 3 and 1 to the switch, that's exactly what I did. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, I'll see anyway, I'll see when it finds its signal, it goes back to zero, it counts up, it goes to 100 or something. And then it, uh, goes back to zero. But I don't want it to go back to zero, I want it to go to three or four or something. There you go guys, that's great news, six miles, excellent. It is doing everything it needs to do. That's spot on. At least now we can add the new mileage to the old mileage so we know exactly what the mileage is. Um, lovely. Slow down much for that corner. Left. Wait, no, you know there's a car there. That thing sounds crazy. I don't know, it seems alright, doesn't it? Smoother? Yeah, smoother. Yeah, I greased it all up. That's spot on, mate. There you go. Yes. Yes, spot on. Welcome to the motorcycle rescuer shop. <laughs> You're going to get all sorts of geese coming. Oh, can you ask the sink? Can you do this? But look how much extra room. Seriously, so I used to try and just get under here. Under here. But now... Look, I could almost, I could have a work on a bike here, can't I? It's giving me a lot of extra room. Should have got it when they had a, you know, remember when it was slowing? Let's see if it tightens in a bit more. Do you remember it wouldn't go in much? Last time, yeah. Look at this beauty. Not that. Not that. That. Oh, such a stunning bike. Gary, you off? Yes, sir. See you later, mate. What? Well, I've been sitting uh, 
what, three weeks a month? Yeah. <laughs> Hot. I mean, it's 50 years old. Yeah, with no carbs in the Sounds amazing. We're still waiting on the uh, ammo carbs, guys. Yeah. He's gonna break his leg. <laughs> Nain Salsa goes straight over the front. Is that it? Is it? My God. God embarrassing. He's gonna knock himself out. He's gonna headbutt the bar. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 It needs to stretch its legs, John. Yeah. Where's the choke on this? Is it here? It doesn't need choke. That's why we need the new carbs there. Yeah. yeah.